Hey guys, it's Stas here with another video brought to you by Beerco. In this video, we're going to be talking about the relatively new beverage to the Australian market, hard seltzer, as well as how to make one at home using the Swing Hard Seltzer Kit. Links below. In America, seltzer is simply a common name for carbonated water. However, a new style of alcoholic beverage has been gaining popularity across the US and into other parts of the world, hard seltzer. Hard seltzer is a relatively low calorie, moderately alcoholic beverage produced from a sugar-based fermentation. This fermentation produces a clear, neutral alcohol base and is often flavoured with fruit and other aromatics. There's a number of reasons why hard seltzers are taking the world by storm. It's giving a whole new market of people a new beverage alternative. People who may not be even into beer. It's gluten free. Compared to beer, it contains fewer calories, about the same as a mid-strength beer. In many ways, it's an exact 180 reaction to the intense flavoured, calorie-rich, hazy, triple milkshake, imperial pastry neepers that have been so popular recently. And a cool marketing campaign probably helped with it too. Well, technically yes, but the less simple answer is not really. The resulting drink, when made well, tastes very similar to a vodka and soda. Where the new aspect comes into it is how the beverage is made. Rather than taking a distilled neutral spirit such as vodka and adding it to soda water as a ready to drink beverage, which in the US falls into a different tax category, brewers are starting with relatively low gravity neutral sugar wash and creating the alcohol using fermentation rather than distillation. Due to some loopholes in the legislation in the US, breweries creating hard seltzers in this fashion are able to classify this beverage as a beer which has much more favourable tax implications. As I said before, hard seltzers are made with simple sugar fermentation. So all you really need is sugar, water and yeast, right? Well, not really. You see, because we are trying to create a beverage that has a clean flavour, not much taste at all, you need to take a few extra steps to make sure you take care of our yeast so that it creates a clean, neutral flavour. So as I said, we've got Beerco's Swing Neutral Hard Seltzer Kit here. We're going to show you how we make a hard seltzer, as well as talk a little bit about some of the extra considerations along the way. Filtered, distilled or RO water should be used to give the cleanest possible flavour. I'll be using filtered water here as I know my water is very soft. All I need to do is remove the chlorine and chlorine. Because we're using soft water, it doesn't have a lot of buffering capacity. As the yeast ferments the sugar wash, it will become more acidic. Special care needs to be taken so that the pH of the fermenting wash doesn't become too acidic and damage the yeast. If the pH drops too far, you can get off flavours in your final beverage or a stuck fermentation from the yeast being killed from the low pH. In this recipe, I'll be adding 5 grams of calcium sulphate, also known as gypsum. The sulphate will help resist the pH drop throughout fermentation and the added calcium aids in yeast flocculation, resulting in a cleaner final product. Putting our 19 litres of filtered water and calcium sulphate into a kettle or pot, we bring it up to the boil and dissolve our dextrose. We're only going to boil this for about five minutes to ensure that everything is sanitised. Chill the sugar wash into your fermenter and get ready to pitch your yeast. Because hard seltzers use only simple sugar, dextrose, we need to give the yeast some extra nutrients. Dextrose to yeast is a little bit like lollies to kids. When they eat them, they go crazy with energy, but they'll soon start misbehaving. If they eat too much, they will be sick. Nutrients for yeast is like vegetables for kids. We're using two types of nutrients here, GoFirm Protect, and diammonium phosphate, also known as DAP. GoFirm will give the yeast the best chance at performing well in this potentially stressful environment that we're about to put it in, and DAP will provide nitrogen and phosphate for the yeast, as well as raising the pH a little bit. We're going to add half the nutrients now and half in 36 hours. This staggering of nutrients 
delivers the nutrients when the yeast is likely to need it, rather than potentially overwhelming it at the start. We're using the Lullamond CBC1 yeast for this hard seltzer because it can tolerate hostile environments and ferments with neutral flavour. We pitch our yeast once our wash is at an appropriate temperature, 19 to 21 degrees C, and ferment at a steady temperature. After primary fermentation is complete, we will cold crush and clarify if necessary using TurboClear and TurboCarbon. These will clean up any byproduct of fermentation as well as ensure that the hard seltzer is as clear as possible. So there you have it. With just a few extra steps, you can put down in about 20 minutes, which should give you a neutral base beverage to get creative with. In the next video, I'll be picking things up post-fermentation, talking about a few different ways that you can flavor your hard seltzer and what I'm planning to do with it. So get subscribed so you don't miss out on that video. So until next time, this has been Stas from Stas Brewing with another video brought to you by Beerco. See you in the next one. Cheers.